Okay? Are you okay with this? Like yes. angle and stuff? Yes. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Hi everyone, obviously I have a special guest with me today. This is my sister Shelby, and she's actually just come back from her, like how, how many weeks were you away? One oh, week? just one week, yeah. One week, so she's a uh, diesel mechanic apprentice with BHP. So I'm excited that she's gonna be on the channel today smelling a bunch of my favorite <laughs> men's fragrances. So I have just sprayed them, they've been drying for about like five minutes, so I've kind of got it all set up and she's just going to tell me what she thinks. She doesn't know, like I didn't tell you anything, did I? Nope. I didn't say, she doesn't know which one's my favourite. Um, so I'm just going to leave it up to her, let her take away the video. So do you want to smell this first one right here? Yeah. It's not great. It's not great? It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't smell. It doesn't Guys, smell as manly. So that's like really made a lot of people sad. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. So it is pretty sweet, like you smell it from there It's as well. sweet for a guy's fragrance. It's sweet for a guy's fragrance. Yeah. So you wouldn't like that on a guy? Probably not. Probably not. But what would you give it out of 10? 10. Oh, I'm probably going to break some hearts here. <laughs> yeah? Maybe like a 7? A 7. Yep. But okay, so for reference, what's your favourite men's fragrance? My favourite. I know, um, I think I know you like Aqua di Gio, don't you? Aqua di Gio? I yes. hate Aqua di Gio. <laughs> no, no, no. So we're very different. Like our tastes and everything are pretty... I oh, think I'm pretty mate. I think Shelby likes like the fresh and million. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> you just made everybody cry. Okay, wait. So what did you give that one? Seven. A seven. Yep. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. I hope that you remember this fragrance because someone very important used to wear it. It's they're just on the this yeah. side. I do like this. Yeah. This is what Dad used to wear. Tony. Tony or Dad. Tony. One of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely an older men's perfume. Yeah, it is. Like, it's been around for... This is yeah, long. it's pretty sophisticated. Pretty sophisticated. Yeah. Do you reckon it's sexy, though? Uh, I wouldn't find it sexy on a young guy. On a young guy? I would find it sexy on an older... Older guy. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. You like it? Yeah. What would you give it, though, out of 10? Be, oh, be pr pretty. Probably not. Uh, probably an 8. An 8. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, moving on to the next one. Smell this one. I have a feeling... I don't know. Are these all guys ones? <laughs> these are- oh my god. <laughs> They're on the front though, like there, just on there. I'm not a fan. Let's see. Can I smell? I'm not a fan. Okay, that's interesting. That is Bleu de Chanel. Yep. So this is like one of the best selling men's fragrances ever. Oh, right. But a lot of girls actually do like this one, but that's interesting. It's kind of boring though, don't you think? Like yeah. it smells kind of boring. Yeah. Like it, it, it does. Um, I really like it, like I think it smells, it always smells good, whoever's wearing it, but it is pretty bland. I think it's, if you're really close up to someone it was on them. Yeah, it yeah. Nice, but it's, it's not super it's like not really loud a, or anything. Yeah, it's not really a passing, ooh, he smells good. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So yeah. that's kind of made a good point there. It's not going to grab anybody's attention. Probably so what would that. you give that? Maybe a seven. Seven, alright. Mm. I do like this one. You do like that one? Yeah. Can I smell it? Yeah, it's, it doesn't smell strong enough though. Yeah. Yes, that's a good point. This fragrance has shitty longevity. <laughs> like it doesn't last very long, but it smells so good. Oh, no, back are you, Deb? I know. This is one of my favourites. Mm. Do you know why? It has uh, like rum. It has rum in it, like booze, and leather, and spice. You like that one? I give this an 8. An 8? Yeah. That's Only good. because of the longevity of it that it's, yeah. it doesn't really last. It doesn't last very long. It, it, she said that it smells like kind of subtle and that's very true. Yeah. All right, next up. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear what you say about this one. Ooh. You don't like it? <laughs> no. No. Wow. It smells like a tangerine. It smells like a tangerine. You're pretty close. You're actually very, very close. I feel like all my family has a really good nose. It's got pineapple. Oh, I would pick, wow. It's got pineapple. No, I don't know. You don't like it? No. No. What would you give this one? That's so oh God. funny. It's an expensive perfume. This one's like Do the most popular <laughs> niche fragrance in the entire world. Like every man goes crazy for this well, stuff. Well, if it, for a niche one, it's it's probably really yeah, nice. Yeah, but be honest, like, cause a lot of girls don't like this. Well, I'd probably give it a five or a six. A five or a six. <laughs> so maybe yeah, six. Six. Yeah. Alrighty. Aventus. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the Aventus lovers out there. Which is really strange because you like those um, Aventus clones. You've, yeah. You've, you've worn a few of them and yeah. you love them. Alright, smell this one. Tell me what you think. Mmm, this one's nice. I this love that you said that. Though. Yeah, exactly. It's a very kind of common DNA. 
You're going to love this. It's from Abercrombie & Fitch. You know that I was store? just going to say I could see like a chav guy from the UK <laughs> wearing it. Like, exactly. That yeah. is literally this fragrance. It smells good. Like, like I oh, think it smells our good. Our cousin, Dry. Yeah. He would, he would wear something like this. He would suit this. But it does smell pretty basic, doesn't it? Yeah. But it smells good. Like, I'm not going to lie. This one does smell probably, good. Probably give it an 8. An 8? Yeah. And that's interesting because this is like the cheapest fragrance in here. So she gave it an 8. It's a good fragrance. I think it's good as like a first fragrance, don't you think? Yeah. Like for like a teenager. Yep. Alright, very interested to what you smell about this one, you have to say. Okay. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> see I really like this, but I don't think it's very manly. You don't think it's very manly? No. I think it's like... It's probably something Kevin would wear. It's not super macho. It's not super macho, I don't think either. But it's really, really nice. You like it? it smells like, um... What does it smell like? Does it also smell pretty familiar? Like, you've probably smelled something like that before. Let me tell you what it is. Or does it smell unique? It smells like it's got a little bit of musk in it. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. It smells really good, though. Oh, it's really smooth. You know how, yes. like, some perfumes are real, like, BAM in your face? This is quite... Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. So, this one is Percival from Parfum de Mali. Love that one. Anyways, um, moving on to the next oh, do one. You, could you want me to rate that? Oh yes. Well, what did you think? Probably a nine. A nine. nine. Okay, that is crazy. Percival from Papa Nine. All right. Next one. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Guys, I did not. <laughs> I swear to you guys, I did not prep you at no. all. She doesn't even. I know. don't know perfumes at all. She doesn't know. Well. Hello, her favourite fragrance is Aqua Dizio. <laughs> she doesn't know. Oh. What's the longevity like on this? Amazing. Well, All of these Parfum de Mali fragrances seem to have incredible... This one can have a 10. Oh my god, everybody. It's really good. <laughs> Mic drop. That is a 10 for Leighton. And I swear to god, she doesn't know uh, anything. Like, she doesn't know about this fragrance at all. So that one's is like I love that. That's, That's my favorite really nice. one in the entire world. Like, all right, next one is this one. Mm. Smells like moisturizer. <laughs> that's a really good comment actually because it has something that's really creamy in it called iris. So that's an interesting comment. Um, she's talking about Prada Long right now. Hmm. Smells like moisturizer. That's a very cool comment because this actually has iris, which is a very creamy note, I do like and that. the neroli makes it kind of soapy. Do you like it? Yeah, it, it's not super manly. Either. It isn't very manly. I don't think it's manly. Probably give it an eight. An eight? Mm. Last one is this one, which I actually feel. I, I know your opinion of this one, I feel like. But try it anyways. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think she's gonna like this one. Hmm. Yeah, no. It smells like grass. <laughs> it smells like grass. That. <laughs> How good is my family's nose? This is Sycamore from Chanel and it contains vetiver, which is basically a grass. <laughs> so, uh, I guess she's got that spot on. This is Sycamore. I love this one personally, but it took me a while to kind of develop a taste for it, I guess. It would be nice on a... Imagine it on like a man. Like a really on old a man. man, yeah. It would be, like an older weird. man in with a like suit. Nice, yeah, nice suit on, nice button-up shirt. Exactly. I think it would smell pretty mm. good. Probably, probably give it a... Maybe an eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, yeah. seven, yeah. eight, seven, seven. Yeah. I feel like you didn't like that one as much. So, out of your top, should we do like a top two? Yep. So that is Percival and Leighton. <laughs> so your top two was both. And this is like crazy because if you watch my channel, guys, you know I love Parfum de Mali's My Favourite House. And I didn't tell my sister that at all. She's just rated both of them a nine and a ten. So smell them both and tell me which one you like that all. Mm, definitely like Leighton. De definitely like Leighton. <laughs> Alright, Leighton is our winner, hands down. Hands down? Yeah. Hands down definitely. the winner. So that was very, very interesting. So, yes, that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Oh, and let me know, let us both know, do you guys want to see Shelby again? Do you want her to be in more of my videos? Because, oh. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!